Only on six tonight, we've learned deputies are preparing for roving gangs of pickpockets targeting people at next week's Country Thunder Music Festival. Yeah, the three-day outdoor concert in Osceola County will draw close to 50,000 people. Now, that's a perfect target for thieves. News 6's Eric Von Anken joins us now live in studio. And Eric, deputies have a plan to get crime results and stop these people. Ginger, these pickpocket gangs drive around the country looking for large groups of unsuspecting people to prey on like these folks. The Osceola County Sheriff's Office just busted up a ring of roving pickpocketers, so they're expecting them again at Country Thunder next week. Everybody. This is what it's going to be like just days from now. People partying, singing, dancing, but not focusing on their phones. There's going to be tents, there's going to be people having a great time. Osceola County Sheriff's Deputy James Fralick will be here too, along with dozens of other deputies, some in uniform, some not, because of who else will be here. These criminals, these roving bands of pickpocketers, will try to come into these festivals to take things that aren't theirs. Roving gangs like these three deputies say recently arrested for stealing a hundred phones from a music festival across the country and trying to ship them out of the country. Caught in the act by a UPS worker who spotted this suspicious sounding buzzing beeping box. The four story high uh, stage will be here straight ahead in this whole entire area. This open field will be the vast hunting ground for the pickpocketers. This is where the big show is going to be taking place. You have the stage pieces that are ready to be set up right here, and we're going to have the tens of thousands of people all packed into this area right here. Deputy Freilich says so many people will be standing so close to each other with their phones hanging out of their back pockets. You might not notice if someone bumps you to pull this out. Exactly. And that's what deputies are being trained to spot and stop. These guys work in groups. They have a routine. They have a pattern. They have a routine. They have a pattern. And they fall into that routine and pattern because it's been working for them. But now we have our detectives that are studying those patterns and studying those routines, trying to find out what they are. Deputy Freilich says there will be so many deputies here, many you will see and some that you won't, that people can focus on the fun and not their phones. Essentially, we want the people that are at this festival to look around and say, I can't swing a cat by a tail without hitting a deputy. This is awesome. But that, of course, doesn't mean you shouldn't be aware of your surroundings. As always, move that phone to a front pocket. It's really that simple. Here's another thing. Put a safety pin on a purse to keep from sneaky fingers opening that zipper and sliding your phone out. Turn your GPS signal on along with that Find My Phone app. And this one may be the best pro tip yet. You see these? Put some rubber bands up and down your phone. It makes it very tough to try and slide it out of your pocket without you noticing. Trust me, guys. Try this. It works. We're not going to try it on you, though. We're just going to believe you. We're going to take <laughs> your word for it. That we is a great you. pro tip. I like that. Drives, my, drives me crazy. My daughters put theirs we right in their back it. pocket. We all do it. We all do it. You don't think about it's just it. just too easy. I yeah. have to pick my kids all the time, but they, they feel it when I do it. Yeah. They won't feel it when a pro does it. Of course not. You're yeah. not a pro. No, That's and right. I haven't heard of anybody use a sling a cat quote. It's been a, a while. Since yeah, I left exactly. Nashville. Glad we got one of those in the newscast. <laughs>